the first new domestic railway to be built in a hundred years in our country. And I think what this really symbolizes is the absolute renaissance of the railway industry in this country. I mean, I think we've got a fantastic team working on this and uh, I'm really proud of the way that they've approached this project. And uh, you know, we're on schedule to be finished uh, next year and to open the railway in September next year. So a uh, hugely exciting day today, but we've got a lot still to do and we're, we're, we're full tilt at it. The number of people traveling on our railways in this country has more than doubled in the last 20 years. So we have to upgrade our stations, re you know, restore old railway lines and build new railway lines. And so this is a great example of that. But we've done a huge amount of work to look at the timetabling of the service and we're confident that we can uh, manage the, uh, uh, the, the timetable with the existing uh, infrastructure. But of course we'll keep this under review in the years ahead and as the railway becomes more and more popular we may have to make some changes to it, just as we do in other parts of our network. We have had some uh, uh, difficulties, uh, we've had a, we had one fatal accident on the, 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 uh, this railway which was absolutely tragic and, uh, and I think that always casts uh, a shadow over any project when you have uh, that uh, situation, the road traffic accident. But other than that, um, you know, I am very pleased with the way the team have worked with Van Nuttall and I think uh, I'm, I'm very encouraged that we will finish this project on time next year and we'll finish it safely as well. I think a lot depends on uh, how much the forestry industry would make use of it um, in the southern end because, as you know, there aren't many people down there, so uh, it's difficult to see it going back through. Uh, I was told that one of, one of the real problems was the Whitrop Tunnel. I have no idea whether that's true or not, but apparently it was not in a good state. That's what was alleged, anyway, uh, in, in bring it down. So whether it will ever get all the way through to Carlisle, I doubt if I will see it, but I would hope at least it would get as far as Hoyk. Unfortunately, the, the, the notion of tourist traffic as well as commuter traffic has come perhaps rather late to the planners because uh, it would have made sense to extend the line uh, from the terminus through to the old station at Melrose where the steam trains could be pulled in in a town with a, a big tourist attraction um, and, and not mess about with the occupying space at Tweed Bank. Uh, and it's a shame that hasn't been done. I hope that that could be the next stage of development, in fact. If, if the tourist trains prove a success, then it seems to me that's the next logical step. It wouldn't, need, it w wouldn't interfere with the commuter running if you had an extension of the line just along to the platform at, at Melrose, not very far. <laughs>